Each year, Bethesda Magazine chooses a group of the county's best and brightest young people for its Extraordinary Teen Awards. These 12 teens are chosen from more than 100 nominations, and each one of them is responsible for some amazing accomplishments. Susan Kennedy caught up with one of the winners whose personal experience factors into what makes her tick. Maybe, but we also want to think about if there's going to be a point counterpoint. Maya Sterling knows a thing or two about the ruthless art of prioritizing. This Bethesda Chevy Chase senior made it her mission to see what she could do to get the school newspaper into the black. The Tatler is Montgomery County's longest running school newspaper and Maya Sterling is the business manager. So this is our November edition of the paper. Uh, this ad here was for um, Aristotle Circle, which is a tutoring company in the area. Maya decided the school needed to go for broke in order to keep the paper running. She organized various events throughout the year, like bake sales and selling ads to local businesses and paper subscriptions to BCC parents and her formula added up to success. So we had all of these, you know, $25 subscriptions and we had our ads and we had donations when we had big events. And together with that, we were able to start publishing longer and longer editions. The Tatler had steadily been about 16 pages, maybe 20. Now we're consistently 24, 28 or 32 page editions and we're able to publish four and sometimes even eight pages of color. So it just might be a story on immigration. English teacher and newspaper advisor David Lopalato was one of the BCC staff members who nominated Maya for the Outstanding Teen Award. She never settles. She's always um, interested in um, the community first. I rarely ever see her like worried about like um, what's in it for her. She's motivated by making a better product, making a better community. This Bethesda Chevy Chase senior made it her mission to see that her school could up its game with the annual Pennies for Patient fundraiser. So that event really got me started in kind of big fundraising for LLS, big event organizing. It's not an insert, I think it's an ad. I have to confirm that actually. Maya took on the task of the Pennies for Patients fundraiser with the same tenacity she used with the Tatler. We have a full page ad from Athnasium, a fourth page ad from Bethesda Court Hotel. So had our big long month of fundraising and in uh, February of 2015, the school raised $14,600, which is the most we've ever raised, ever. But her talent doesn't end at fundraising. She is fluent in Spanish. And then this is an article that I actually wrote in Spanish. Was instrumental in creating a news magazine show for MCPS television. I used to play soccer. And two years ago, she led the way in creating an annual community festival at BCC, Baron Palooza. And what does she think about being named an extraordinary teen? It's been really exciting I, to be in a magazine and people to like congratulate me, sometimes complete strangers, and it's like, oh yeah, that was me. <laughs> so it's been really fun. Well, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.